Hello everyone and welcome to Pyre. This is a game by Supergiant who make very well-renowned games and uh, they're currently working on Hades which got announced at the Game Awards but I have not played them and uh, this seems to be, this is the most recent one and it seems to be very cool looking. Uh, I don't really know much about it but it's got a cool art style. I was very interested in it when it was announced ages ago. This is a long time ago uh, but I didn't have a PS4. When I did get a PS4 about a year ago, it was the first thing I downloaded onto it, or one of the first things, but I just have never got around to doing it. So I figured, now is the time. Let us jump into campaign mode. Uh, join your fellow exiles in their quest for freedom. There's no game over. Your choices and outcomes are part of your story. Okay, interesting. Uh, choose the profile. Indeed. New campaign. Uh, oh boy. Difficulty. Adjust how much of a challenge you shall face from your adversaries. Okay. Reduced. We won't be doing that one. Not seeing too much of a challenge. Adversaries will hold back. <laughs> Fight back against you. Tougher challenge. Do their worst. True Nightwing. And that's locked. You have to reach the end of the campaign. Uh, your adversaries shall be favoured by the stars themselves. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you know, standard is fine. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm even getting into here. I don't even know what the gameplay is. I just remember... It looked very cool ages and ages ago. Hurry text. Uh, hold square to rush story events. I mean, if maybe depending on checkpoints. Although it says there's no game over. Huh. Well, we probably won't be doing that, but I'll leave it on just in case. Toggle subtitles for the voice during the writes. Sure. And aim assist. Uh, when enabled, hold circle to automatically lock onto nearby adversaries. Ah... Uh. Let's see how we do without that. Interact or press square to start the campaign. Commence. Okay. Here's hoping this is good. I've heard nothing but good things about it, and yeah, I am I'm ready to be I'm ready to be surprised, because as I said, I don't really know Ooh, that's pretty looking. I don't really know much about this. Oh damn. That is a cool ass logo. Hang on, are we playing? Are we doing something here? No? Oh, I'm pressing, I'm pressing X is what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, Supergiant are very well renowned for putting out solid games. Feeling that beat in the background. Your days in the downside brought slow, lonesome agony. Now, as you lie yielding to the elements, something rumbles into view. Three shapes emerge, each clad in strange attire. Ah. Downside, a vast purgatory into which the Commonwealth casts its convicts and its enemies. None have been known to return from the forsaken land. Okay. Masked Woman. Hmm. Another piece of filth expelled from the Commonwealth. Doesn't feel much <laughs> Masked something. See? Right on schedule. What did I tell you? You told us we would find someone alive. Someday? I said we'd find someone alive someday. Just not today, I guess. But don't be glum. You know, I see you frowning underneath that mask. Looks like she's breathing. The masked wanderers presume you are female. Interact to change this. Okay. No, that's fine. We can be female. It seems she still is. Then stand aside. I shall send her to a better place. She's a she? Can you people just tell? Hang on. The markings on her rags. I think she's one of them. But look at her. She is beyond our help and we are beyond hers. Broken, shaking, starving, probably diseased. Yeah, good luck with that there, chum. See you back at the wagon. <laughs> Indeed. The day grows dim. You have at best an hour. Understood. I won't be long. After the others leave, the man turns toward you and begins unfastening his mask. <laughs> Unmasked man. Oh, hello. He looks not like how I was expecting. <laughs> 
Hello, my friend. Don't care who you are or what you did. None of that matters anymore. All of us, we're equal nothings here. You are parched, and he gives you a drink. You ache, and he binds your wounds. You hunger, and he gives you food. Little by little, it helps. See that, Matucha? There. Turns out you're tougher than you look. Name's Hedwin. Now come on. He's one of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life in the downside. Hedwin. You sense no ill intent as he helps you up, and leads you to an old black wagon, nothing like the stately vessels that paraded Commonwealth criminals through alabaster streets. The Commonwealth is a proud country risen from the ashes of a fallen empire, home to a multitude of ethnic groups founded on principles of mercy and kinship whose exact meanings evolved through many centuries. Hedwin beckons you to enter the black wagon. Step inside. The weather-beaten wagon is as much a mess inside as out. You see the masked woman and the talkative creature taking stock of ancient-looking books. I'm back. And with a guest. She loosens the clasps on her mask. You may call me Jo... Jo... <laughs> jo Dariel? I think so. You may call me Jo Dariel. She's one of... She is the most imposing of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life. Man, I am loving the character designs. These are looking cool. Joe Dariel and Hedwin. And as for myself, the small one struggles with his mask. Joe Dariel soon assists him. Ow! Ah, uh, it's a dog. What? That is to say, you may regard me by the name of Rookie Greentail. He is the smallest yet loudest of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life. Okay, so that's the kind of world we're in. Talking animals. Bojack Horseman style. Got it. Such pleasantries out of the way, the horned woman then motions to the others. She glances at you sidelong as she speaks. Can she do it? Hope so. I haven't asked her yet. What? Then what are we waiting for? Hey, sister! Nice meeting you and all, but tell me something. You know how to read or what? He is asking if you are a reader. One who can derive meaning from text. Literacy has been prohibited for centuries. Ah, those with knowledge of the old ways violate the law of the land. Interesting. One who can derive meaning from text and it's been prohibited for centuries. Over time you manage to learn- so this is- I'm choosing like my own backstory here. Over time you manage to learn something of the old ways in spite of Commonwealth Decree. Uh, literacy is a serious crime. No one in her right mind would dare violate the law of the land. Or, who you are or what you did to earn your sentence is no one's business but your own. Yeah, sure. I'm a reader. I'm a rebel. You confirm their suspicions. There's no use trying to hide it now. The green. Well then, glory days! Because it just so happens my associates and I, we got ourselves some nice material here for someone just like you. Reader, you still live thanks to us. We ask for something modest in exchange. Open one of those books back there and tell us what it says. Sorry to put you on the spot like this, my friend. The exiles indicate the books in their possession. Have a look. Strange book. Ooh, bit of controller vibration when I look at it. What are these eyes up here? <laughs> Side door. Beyond lies the boundless downside. Even if you could run, you wouldn't get far. Lone minstrel. Oh, this person. A figure sits very still in the corner of the wagon. Now is not the time to check on him. I hadn't even noticed him until that prompt came up. Old raiments. Colourful robes and ceremonial masks adorn one of the wagon's walls. Yeah, why were they wearing masks? Closed door. Common room must be back there. They do not feel very welcome right now. Rickety ladder. Likely leads to the wagon's centrifuge, judging by the gibbering creatures up there. Centrifuge? Huh. Why would there be one of them in here? Odd creatures. Hungry looking creatures roost near some sort of attic. There's nothing you can do for them now. Nothing over here, a bit cobwebby. Intricate sigil. A symbol of some sort is set in the wagon's floorboards. You cannot sense its purpose. Okay. One of several such heavy, ominous volumes. The exiles you met seem very interested in them. You pick up one of the old and heavy volumes, bound in materials you do not recognise. Oh, that looks cool. 
Forward. Oh boy. A formal welcome, undersigned by the eight scribes. You, dear reader, are an exile of the downside, such as we, the eight who wrote this book of rights. That you possess it and have capacity to glean its words is testament enough to your potential. Thus, we reveal a path from this forsaken place to freedom, a homecoming in glory. The stars themselves shall be your guide. Are the turning, ere the turning of the year's first solstice, seek the nearest longitude beneath the brightest of eight, as they align as shown. Arrive as a triumvirate. Don't know what that means. Does it tell you if you hover over it? No. Oh, that's cool. The text, like, sparkles as you move over it. I like that. Arrive as a triumvirate, clad in the raiments of the rites, bearing this book. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Okay. So, as the first solstice happens, seek the nearest longitude beneath the brightest of these eight when they are in this pattern. <laughs> that sure is a lot to remember, but I'm assuming I don't have to remember it. <laughs> Interact or press triangle for a clearer look at the text. Okay, got it. And is there anything else I can do up here? Brief instruction on when, where, and how to commence the rites. No, okay. The book describes a complicated method through which exiles can return to the Commonwealth. The words swim through your mind as Hedwin gets your attention. Well, friend, what does it say? But then your vision starts to fade and blur. You feel your body weaken and give out. Okay. <laughs> you feel a loading screen start to occur. No! You are sucked down into the load. That was actually pretty quick. Reader, oh! Dare you tamper with forbidden knowledge? So soon after your sentence into exile, tis true what the book says. You can be free again. Perhaps not you yourself, but someone worthy of the privilege. You witness now. The path toward salvation. You witness the rites. The one way to return to glory. Though in your case, I hardly think it possible. Savage. Oh. Yet, by the grace of the scribes, it is my duty to inform you anyhow. Okay. It worked. So it is true. Yeah, but what now? And where'd the reader go? She should be out there still. For now, we have to put our faith in her. She could abandon us. She won't. You look upon the three of them from beyond as Hedwin then calls out to you. Reader, we aim to free ourselves. We will not grow old and die in the downside. And now I swear to you, when we get out of here, you're going to come with us. But first, we need your help. Show us the way. Freedom. You focus all your mental faculties to do as Hedwin asked. A celestial orb falls from the heavens when the time is nigh. Okay. So a controlling Joe Dariel. Exiles conduct the rites as a triumvirate, for they must prove their trust in one another, not just in themselves. So, is a triumvirate, does that mean like a group of three? Must conduct the rites as a triumvirate? Obviously tri is three, but I don't know, virate. Uh, press X to pass the orb. Hold X to pass to Rookie. Okay. The three must act as one. Only one exile can move at a time. Okay. Hold R2 to sprint. Your exile's abilities are shown at the bottom. Okay, so there, that's our walking speed, and then that's our sprinting speed. It's got a hard turning circle. Sprint until stamina depleted. Right, did that. It's got a, yeah, like, when you're sprinting, you can't turn the corner as well, but obviously much faster. Into the pyre with the orb and be purified. 
Okay, so it's about getting the spirit orb to the opposing pyre. Yes, the exiled Vuki has the way of it. Whoever steps into the flame is banished. Vuki is time. banished for now. Okay. His or her cohorts must make do on their own. Oh, but it is not so simple. Enemies, of course. The rights, you shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. Well, snap. Beware what are these? That surrounds them, as they shall beware yours. Okay, so what does the aura do? Well, I think we're about to find out. Also, it looks like okay, so we've got we've got like abilities on the left hand side, and I think above it is like Apaya's health. And it looks like dunking it into theirs took it from 100 to 85. So that's about 15 a time. Okay, so... The aura is your wrongdoing. Accept it as a part of you. Okay, so... Cast your aura like a stone. Hold circle to banish adversary from afar. So you have to, like, Go aim it. Done. Okay. Banish the remaining adversary. So, what it's looking like to me is the bigger the creature, the larger their aura is. So, I wouldn't have been able to walk up and banish that big guy, I don't think, just by touching him with it. Because his aura would have hit me before my aura hit him. Because his is much bigger, so I'd have had to step inside it to get to him. So, I'd have been banished first, but I can fire it like that. Uh, but for this guy, he's not even got one, so I can just... Just so. Yeah, I can just do that. A glorious performance, I admit. More than I expected from the likes of you. Once banished by auras, exiles return Grasp soon. The orb once more. It seems like uh, when they are together, they expand a bit as well. The auras, like, their powers combined kind of thing. The orb absorbs the aura. Oh. Then the orb quenches the flame. You lose your aura when you have the orb. Okay, never mind. Now I say jump. Leap with all your strength. Okay, so it's only if you're touching the ground that it attack that it gets you. Okay, so I can sprint and jump. Thus sails the orb into the waiting flame. Okay. Rookie is returned. Adversary's pyre, whilst yours yet burns. Okay, so you can just. Oh shit! <laughs> I fucked it. Is what happened there? Okay, my yeah, I'm really slow. This guy, but I have a big like. Shit! This is hard. Where did it go? Oh shit, it's over there. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Okay. <laughs> this is, this is... Try jumping with. Somebody get the orb. So really, you can just if they if you're going for the one with the pyre, you can just no. If you're going for the one with the orb, you can literally just walk into it. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I've got you. Got to be very wary of. Oh, the pass mechanic. Of course. I completely forgotten about that. That's a very key part. That is a very key part. Is the fact that you can pass it. Try banishing adversaries, indeed. Another banishment. Oof. Double kill. <laughs> Banished one and all. So I wonder how often you can use that. Shit. Okay, it is on a timer.
I'll have that. <laughs> he is so slow. He's just got this one long range. Okay, there you go. You can have that. You want to run into me, mate? The right is complete. Okay, this is cool. There, dear reader. Now you understand. Okay. There's, I'm or sure more powers and stuff will be unlocked this as you go through. Of that which lies ahead. I would tell you to turn back. Cast down your hope. But all those such as you, you never listen. Okay, I'm liking this. During the rites, only one exile on each side is permitted to move at any given time. The three must act as one. Yeah, okay. This is, this is good. I really like that loading symbol. Man, just the sort of style that this game is giving off is, is really good so far. The others are still picking themselves up as you awaken. Well, that was something. That was our way out. So, now we just follow the stars, or what? Supposedly. Reader, come, let us regard the night. Jodariel leads you outside, where a clear night sky awaits. Now, show us, before the howlers catch our scent. Where shall the rites commence? An ancient ritual competition, this is what we just took part in, through which the worthiest exiles regain their freedom. The eight scribes gave their freedom so that we may yet have ours. Prayer from the Book of Rites. You gaze at the stars, seek out your destination. Okay. So, what have we got down here? Caprius, the olden star. Star of the moon stag hunter. Those born under it are ambitious, though also discontented. Ooh. Scorpius the Olden Star. Star of the Old Cutter. Those born under it are wiser than most. Are there going to be ones up here? Uh-huh. Gem Geminian the Olden Star. Star of the First Empress. Those born under it seek knowledge and new experiences. Okay, we've just got those three. And of course, this big one. Gull, the South Star. The South Star burns bright over a massive ridge of stone, much further than the, na than the naked eye can see. Interact to determine the location of the next right. Don't mind if I do. What on earth was that a picture of? I couldn't quite tell. Hmm. 200 leagues due east. The Ridge of Gull. According to the stars, the next rite shall soon commence here. The fossil remains of the serpent titan slain by Gol Golathanian, yet loom over those living in its shadow. Okay. Concilia. Great! And we're supposed to be there when, exactly? Very soon, according to the stars. You should be able to arrive in time, if you make haste. Then we had best get started. <laughs> well, this ought to be good for a few laughs at least. What do you say, Jody? You know what? I prefer Jody. I prefer saying Jody over Joe Dariel because I kept forgetting what that was. I kept forgetting the full version of the name. Jody is much appreciated. Joe Dariel turns to you, studying you. Reader, do not deceive us. Pray we make good use of our remaining time. What she means is, glad to have you aboard, sister. We're counting on you, my friend. See you inside. Freedom. The rights are the key. It's a lot to take in. Your fellow exiles await you in the wagon. Join them. Oh, and off we go. Very cool. Hop. <laughs> wow. That is one versatile wagon. Downside Prairie. I wonder how different the battlefields could be as well for those rights. Because there's going to be, there's going to be like different skills that we earn and different skills the enemy is using. Because obviously the tutorial ones there, they weren't firing like their spells at me or anything. They were pretty easy. Um, but then the battlefields could be different as well. There's a lot of, there's a lot of scope to work with. You arrive in Downside Prairie where the ro road ahead is forked. There is a lack of consensus about which way to proceed. One of the Downside's only verdant regions. Green. <laughs> Green and lush. It only gets less hospitable as you press further north. Oh man, look at his look at his costume. 
You are one cool dog. I'm telling you, we ought to take the Northern Pass. Got an associate holed up in Hollow Root. I've got to pay a visit to. Besides, Hollow Root. The northern route to the Ridge of Gol goes through a small exile encampment. Every so often, tempests come and scour away the huts and hovels, but they always crop back up. Fie on your associate. Best we head to Blooming Pool and avoid detention. Blooming Pool. The southern route to the Ridge of Gol goes through a humid area, pocked with hot springs? Is pocked a word? Does it mean packed, or is pocked a word? I don't know. Maybe pocked means, like lots of holes? I can imagine it meaning like lots of holes of hot springs, like sort of like holy cheese. <laughs> I don't know. Possibly. I, I imagine they must have spelled that right. This seems very uh, polished, so I probably just don't know that word. Runoff from the sand folds means no bathing in the springs, so they're just there to mock you. <laughs> and get stuck in the bog while we're at it? The dispute continues as Hedwin listens for a while. Well, we've done north and south. Do you want me to take the middle path, Hedwin? What if the reader settled this? She marks the way, we get us there. Ah, okay, never mind. If these rites are meant to test our faith, then we'd best learn to trust the reader's instincts on our path. No second guessing her along the way. Can we all live with that, for now? Yeah, sure. If necessary. Then it's settled. Just point the way, my friend. The stars guide us through you. You may now choose a route towards your goal at certain junctures. Weigh the options. Okay, hollow route. That's where Rookie wants to go. Uh, small exile encampment on the way. We probably have a fight there, and he knows someone there who owes him. That could be useful. Or uh, southern route. Humid area pocked with hot springs. Man, I really like that word, pocked. Uh, Joe Dariel thinks she can find rare flora here. Oh, you can actually see what's over here. Oh, that's where we're, that's our destination, Ridge of Gold. Okay. Um, I feel like, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some use for this rare flora. Uh, maybe there'll be some crafting mechanism we can make items to use in the fights, possibly. I'm not sure. Um, however, that is something I don't know about, but someone who owes us, that's definitely going to be a good thing. So I think we're going to go, uh, to Hollow Root. I really like this little wagon, like, bouncing all over the place. Off we go. As you pass through this squalid little area, you hear boisterous voices coming from what looks to be a public house. Rookie stumbles forth from it, holding something in his paws. Oh, uh, hey sister, just wrapping up a real important exchange back there. Hang on to this for me, will you? We'll have to drop it off if we head further north. You received a plain parcel, my favourite. You cannot tell what is inside. Hmm, mysterious. Journey onward. Okay, cool. So there's going to be like world events, sort of, as you as you go. Oh, okay. So we're pretty much there now. Then I thought it was going to be. Like a sort of a longer thing, but it's really just uh, if you go up, you get a parcel. If you go down, you get some plants is essentially what that was. I thought there was going to be a bit more to it, uh, but it is just uh, weighing your options. I guess in future, there'll be more to it. Like if you go one way, maybe you get robbed or something. If you go the other way, you know, there's going to be stuff to it like that. But it's not like a super in-depth, like different areas to explore that you can only explore one of. It's more just a sort of narrative beat. The black wagon grinds to a stop at the base of the Ridge of Gol. The others ask you to ask you to assist with making preparations for nightfall and the commencement of the rite. Commence the rite. Page revealed the first exile. Uh, you reach the celestial landmark. Now to get everything and everyone prepared, interact to begin your first true trial. Uh, but let's check inside our home first. See what's going on. That book is sparkling. <laughs> Man. Oh, it's so good. Uh, that's our exit. Lone Minstrel, can we talk to you yet? Uh, unresponsive, but seems to be alive. Okay, I guess we can't interact yet. Uh, what was that? Jody's throw rug, fashioned from a howler's hide, sends their ilk a clear message. Joe Dariel says not to step on it. 
Her status is nearby. Interesting, it tells you that. Uh, Jody's throw rug, fashioned from a howler's hide. Yep. Hedwin's cooking tins. What passes for cooking supplies in the downside? Hedwin does most of the cooking. Hedwin's status is lost in thought. What was that? Did I mouse over something else? When I say mouse, I, I'm using a controller, obviously, but he seems to have something on his mind. Interact to speak with him. Okay, we will do that. Anything else? Drive imp. Creatures such as this must have been bred to push the black wagon along. Oh, okay. So it's not a motor thing. These guys are helping us. Only imps could fit up there. What is this? Greentail family portrait. A reasonable likeness of a younger Rookie with his mother and uncle. Can I, like, click it? No. Uh, common room. Your fellow exile's living quarters are functional, but little else. Interact to view the roster. What does that mean? In the common room, you may review various notes and observations about your fellow exiles and their respective paths toward enlightenment in the rites. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a... <laughs> okay. There's a glory stat, a quickness stat, a presence stat, and a hope stat. Hedwin... He is a nomad, that's his race. Common folk cast from the Commonwealth and stripped of name, home, and title. They come from all directions toward the Commonwealth where at last they settled, some of them. And his enlightenment, what does that mean? One's progress toward a deeper understanding. Current enlightenment 250 and rank two there is 750. Exiles gain enlightenment by conducting the rites or from certain events. Interesting, okay. Rank two, novice. Oh, rank 1, uninitiated, prepared to take their first steps. Rank 2, novice, those who have begun to understand the rights. Several potential masteries are revealed to them. Okay, so this is like leveling up, getting new skills. Uh, rank 3, disciple, those experienced in the rights have access to two masteries of their choice. Rank 4, adept, those with greater understanding of the rights have access to three masteries. And finally, when you max yourself out, become rank 5, the master. Those who have profound understanding of the rites have access to four masteries. Very nice. What are these? Hedwin's masteries. Okay, interact. Show his masteries. I guess we have none because we've not done anything yet. Makes sense. Oh, no. Didn't mean to back out of there. Um, over here. Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, this says something different to these. Potential mastery. Masteries make exiles more effective in the rites. Hedwin will gain a new mastery at rank 2. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, enlightenment in rites to unlock masteries. Mastery over one's body, mind, and spirit are essential to prevailing in the rites. Okay. Talisman pocket. Talismans grant special abilities and bonuses. Hedwin doesn't have one. Drag a talisman from your cargo to equip. To some, the power of such artifacts is mere superstition, but to others, they confer certain advantages. Nightwing's Cargo. Plane parcel, value 30. This can be sold at the slug market. Certain types of luxury goods somehow find their way down to the downside. Okay. Oh, no. I didn't mean to... Man, I keep backing out. I just wanted to get back to this. Um, the Free Spirit. He wanders the downside in search of a way to regain his freedom and return home. His rights, powers... Cast, that's the one we saw, throws his aura in a straight line. You have to hold it for a moment before it will work. Uh, jump, high jumps to evade the auras. Yep, so you, that they only hit you on the ground. That is confirmed, and sprint runs much faster. Passed as an outrider. They ensured the high wing remnants never flew far from their mountain nests. So, high wing remnants. Maybe high wings are a race of uh, creatures, I guess. And remnants, maybe because they've died out, potentially. There's not many left. Uh, those who served on the blood border were taught to always watch the skies. Interesting. And his astral sign, you don't you don't know it yet. One's astral sign often foretells of one's disposition, strengths, and idiosyncrasies. Sentencing. Ooh. <laughs> you don't know why he was exiled. As mercy guides our hand, we spare your lives, but rid ourselves of you from the sentencing ceremony. Huh. His motive, you don't know why he did it. In the downside, one's past tends not to be a subject for discussion. And years exiled. You don't know. Some withstand the downside for no longer than a day or two, while others last for many, many years. Observations. He is the one who nursed you back from the brink after finding you in the downside. His genial manner suggests that life in exile has not broken his spirit. He wears a bronze clasp identical to that of Jodariel, suggesting the two of them may have met before their exile. He's not yet revealed what he did to earn his sentence. Okay, let's have a look at the others. Jody. 
Oh, she's actually... Hang on, was she further along the path? Yeah, she's further along the path. And Rookie's nowhere. Okay. Um, oh, you can actually hover over these to see what the stats are. This at attribute attribute affects damage dealt to, pow to Pyre. Okay. One's worth in the eyes of the eight scribes. She's got 30, so I assume that is just a flat 30 damage. And it seems like Pyre start at 100, so... It's like you want to be getting the, getting the, whatever it is, the sphere to the pyre with these ones if you can, because you'll deal more damage, and that's better. Presence. This aura, this attribute affects aura size. One's inner and outer strength combined. Rank looming. Quickness. That's movement speed. One's swiftness of body and reflex. Rank leaden. <laughs> yep. She's a, she's a big girl. And Jodariel's Hope. This attribute affects duration of banishment. Okay, one's capacity to see the light in things. Melancholy is 11 seconds respawn time. What's what's his? Six seconds. That's almost half the time. Uh, 20 glory. And then, what about Ruki? <laughs> he's got no aura, essentially. Um, super quick. 15. And he's the quickest respawn time. Okay, let's read about Jody. The Fallen Soldier. She's a grim, long-time resident of the Downside, grown accustomed to surviving here. She's got the same ru cast, jump, and rush powers. Uh, oh, her race is demon. People who survived in exile long enough to be transformed by it in body, if not in spirit. Oh, shit, so that's, that explains the horns. She has some massive fucking horns, so they weren't always a part of her. She's grown them out here. Jesus. All are welcome here, save demons such as you, from the sentencing of Chief Physician Orelech. Past is a veteran. Everyone served on the Commonwealth's blood border. Those who excelled remained. Clashes with the High Wing remnants were frequent, though the greatest wars had passed. And you don't know her astral sign, you don't know any of this. Observations. She seems to be responsible for the Black Wagon's security. Her features suggest she's lived in exile for much longer than the others. Her grim outlook and the fact that she still wears the bronze clasp of the Commonwealth blood border suggest a military background, though what she did to earn her sentence you do not yet know. And last but not least, Ruki, the fast talker. He is an opportunistic and well-connected Kerr, still clinging to his once comfortable lifestyle. Yeah, I can tell he had a comfortable life. Look at those clothes. Uh, throws his aura, long thin line. I don't think I tried to throw his aura, actually. Uh, but yeah, long and thin because it's only little, whereas the larger ones are much wider in scope. Um, race is Kerr. Swift, dog-like creatures known for their loyalty, optimism, and appreciation for the simple things. The Alpha Chiefs would later say their kind went soft no sooner than they joined the Commonwealth. He used to be a trafficker. Dealing with contraband for long enough can lead to making many strange acquaintances. What remains now of the Fallen Empire's old and tarnished currency is still of value to some. And we don't know his astral sign. We don't know those observations. He seems to be the most well-connected of the masked wanderers who found you and knows something of the land. He has a rather opportunistic disposition and his ostentatious clothing suggests a lucrative background in the mercantile... Mercantile? Mercant... Like... Um, is that like mercenary? Mercantile? I'm going to go with mercantile business. Even still, you do not yet know for sure what he did to earn his sentence. Interesting. And I'm guessing we're probably going to find more people along the way that have different uh, attributes and stuff. And we'll only probably be able to... Yeah, we'll definitely only be able to pick three, I think. Uh... Cool. Very nice. Let's have a chat with Ruki. Hey, sister. Appreciate you taking us up through Hollow Root back there. About that. Are you certain that parcel will fetch us an adequate price at the slug market? Surely we could have procured some sort of rare fungus had we gone the other way. Slug market. A crude trading post found in the downside. Commonwealth contraband sometimes finds its way to the downside where it's traded and sold. Uh, much as I love the idea of procuring rare fungus there, Jody, we said we wouldn't go around second-guessing our good sister's decisions, right? <laughs> Jodariel says nothing in response, but soon changes the subject. <laughs> Night falls soon. Come along, Greentail. We have much left to prepare. The two of them soon go about rummaging through the raiment and the books strewn about the wagon, leaving you to your own devices. And finally, we have this book to look at. Pretty sure that picture's different. Oh, wait, no, yeah, we're on a different page. Right, okay. Emperor's Fall. The history of Solium Myrrh, the first exile, and the foremost of the eight scribes. Okay, that is the page one. The first exile, in the words of Gol Golathanian, the Master General. 
Oh wait, is this the? Isn't it like his skull or something that we're under? In in the world, you know perhaps the thrice cursed name of Solian Mur. You know what? Let's read this like this: <laughs> the Emperor of Sar, the first exile, and my liege. This chapter concerns him and those who found him in the downside. Each of us was sent to take his life. Such was the hatred for him in and around his country. Yet we found in Solian Mur a man transformed in body, mind, and spirit. A man deserving of much more than mercy. In time he named us all his scribes, and he became the eighth. It is my greatest honour now to share with you his deeds. To know his story is to know the rights. Okay. So we'll be unlocking the pages as we go through. Very nice. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that makes sense. Eight scribes, eight pages. Good stuff. And there we have it. I think that is everything. All that is left is to commence the right. That is where we will leave it for part one. I am loving this. I'm really into the vibe. Uh, we had the tutorial combat session, uh, the right, which seemed cool, but there's obviously going to be a lot more to it in this first one, and I'm sure it will just expand more and more as we go through the game. And I'm just really digging it. I'm gassed. This is this is this is great. Okay. Uh, so if you have enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I hope to see you back here for more. I guess I probably, you'd probably prefer it if I did the actual first proper right here in this video. So sorry about that. But uh, I hope you come back and see how I do next time. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, I'll stop rambling now. Thanks for watching and I will see you then.